Hey everybody, it's New Year's Day and I'm kind of taking a break from doing family stuff and just walking out here in the woods. And I was thinking about you know, something my, my wife and I were talking about. Uh, she's a fan of kind of the, the New Year's resolutions and planning stuff and, and all that and that doesn't really work for me. And in fact, I know I know a lot of people that that doesn't really work for. So I wanted to talk about talk about why why these sort of things, the New Year's resolutions, kind of make sense, and why they don't work for a lot of people, and then share something that I've been trying for the last several years to uh, see if it might not help some of y'all, because I think it works, at least for me, works a lot better than saying I have a, a New Year's resolution. So, why these things, these resolutions, new year, new you, you know, what have you stuff, uh, why that makes a lot of sense. Well, um, for a lot of people, I understand not for everybody, but for a lot of people, coming through the, coming out of, you know, Christmas and, and New Year's and all that, ooh, that looks, that looks really spooky back there, the fog, there's the forest ends right there, and there's a field, and you just, you have no visibility. Sorry, sorry, uh, kind of distracted squirrel. Um, anyway, you have this massive disruption with with holidays, with with Christmas. Um, man, we must have a dozen or more Christmas functions in my wife's family, in particular. Um, Yeah, it, it's. I always feel like I have no time for myself. For like, I have no weekends. All of December, I had no weekends to do anything. So it was a massive disruption. And now, you get New Year's. New Year's is like the end of that whole season, and you can get back to normal, whatever that is. Only because it's a restart. You have to reestablish all your old routines. So, if you want to make a change, man, now is a great time to do it. Um, where where I would always get tripped up. That's why they don't work. Okay, that's, that's why it's a great time to make a restart. So that's why people like them. A branch there. Um, why do they not work for many people, myself included? Um, I would always do dumb stuff that was way too generic and way too non-committal. I'm going to lose weight. How many people, New Year's resolution, you're going to lose weight? Are you really? No. No, who are we kidding? Um, I don't know. I'm going to... Any number, I don't know, any number of things. But my problem was it was always, it was always kind of too generic. And not tied, not tied to any kind of commitment or routine. So, because what we're doing is, is we're reestablishing our routines, um, what I've been trying to do is say, okay, I'm going to establish a new routine. I'm going to, in this time of, of reestablishing routines, putting my life back together, I'm going to make room for. Well, since I said, you know, lose weight, instead, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym, again, very specific. I'm going to establish a routine of going to the gym every Tuesday morning. Cool. Okay, that's, that's, a, little, that's a lot more concrete. Or, I'm going to establish a routine of doing... Three days, let's say Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be deliberately doing cardio and specific strength training stuff. You know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Tuesday, I'm doing kettlebells and I'm doing endurance on the, the cardio. Or maybe I'm splitting it up, I'm doing endurance one day, I'm doing, um, I'm going to sprint another day, and then I'm doing strength training. I don't know. How do you want to, you want to split that up? Going downhill, it's slippery. 
snow wasn't so thick it did the butt slide. Um, that's a much more specific routine than just a generic out there kind of goal. So, okay, here's one for me. I want to pick up my general class amateur radio license. I can make that. That's a New Year's resolution, right? I want to I'll get my, my uh, general class ham license. Is that a good, is that a routine? No, it's not a routine. That's just a generic out there dream. So now let's make a plan. Let's make a routine. Let's establish a routine of, you know, on the way, on the way into work, there's a series of YouTube videos that are just pounded through the questions on the general class exam. And I'm going to listen to that. Again, let's say let's say three days a week, Monday to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the, the rest of the time I'll listen to music or whatever I want. Um, that's a routine. I, uh, that's something a lot more concrete that I can stick to. Oh, uh, you know, and, and I'm going to spend uh, let's say let's say it's Tuesday and Thursday afternoon when I get home. I'm going to dedicate half an hour. Let's say half an hour to um, the, the ham study, uh, taking those, those practice tests. Okay. That's a routine. That is, is concrete. I can clearly tell I'm doing well. I'm doing not so well. And, and keep on that. It's only going to work if you keep on that routine. If you don't stick to your routine... And you're doing anything. All right. So it's not magic. It's not like you can make up for a whole week by uh, by cramming knowledge or working out really, really intensely and doing an epic workout. I mean, those are great to do. But you're not going to make up for your whole week of um, sitting on your butt. So keep your routine. Set a routine, set a goal, break it down into a routine, and stick to your routine. All right? So hopefully that will uh, that'll help some of y'all. It's been helping me. Now I've got to go and reestablish all my routines again. Like, you know, maybe posting these videos that I never do. Be a good one, huh? <laughs> there you go. Break it. Set a goal. Break it down into a plan and make that plan into a routine. All right. Hope that helped. Until next time, y'all take care of each other. All right. I'll see you out there.